sign the chase for the championship with silverware at stake in the spring sunshine. Both clubs targeted this competition at the start of the season as a realistic reward. They will be soaking up these scenes. They have navigated seven games in it already en route to Wembley. One more push required this afternoon to take the trophy. Bolton did have five players away on their international duty last week. Here's them with Northern Ireland. And John has been kept by Wales. He's uh, slotted into the side today on that left-hand side. Charles of Northern Ireland. A goal scorer for his country. Forcing the early Bolton corner. So another set piece to come then. Declan John with the corner. The deep delivery. It's a powerful header. And it's perfectly placed. situations over the course of the last fortnight and they reap their reward already Declan John's delivery hoisted it high and despite the packed penalty area the posse of Plymouth players in there they weren't able to react in time Kyle Dempsey guides the header home that he will get the opportunity to lift the trophy at the end of it. And they come again with Kachunga. That's in support. He's in again. He's unselfish. It's Charles. It's 2-0 Bolton Wanderers. 2-0 already. And the top scorer was perfectly placed. They are daring to dream already. A swift counter-attacking second goal. The 19th of his Bolton season for the team's top scorer. And Plymouth just do not know what has hit them here. Cruz in possession inside their own half initially. Dempsey played his part, certainly as did Kachunga. Dempsey unselfish. Charles decisive. against 10 for much of that match after the early sending off midway through the first half of Accrington Stanley Sean McConville but it wasn't until Kachunga opened the scoring eight minutes from time that they were able to make their pressure pay Alan Morley scored a super second just a couple of minutes later here they go in search of a third in the final already Charles was calling for it instead it was Dempsey it's deflected and scrambled away from right on the line. Just got back in time, did Edwards there. And Callum Burton so grateful to gather. It was very close to being offside in the build-up. This is Mumba. Back over on this right-hand side. Jordan Houghton trying to combine with Danny Mayer. This is Houghton, it's in awkwardly on! Oh, Hardy just not able to finish it off. Having made the right run and got on the end of the opportunity. He found the goalkeeper in the way. He's just... for the competition for League One football between these two clubs who've had super season so far who haven't yet achieved what they set out to do it remains at the moment an opportunity a little nervy from Trafford that time we haven't really said that before today but it opens up here for Kachunga in on goal and finds the finish to make it three Went on their way at Wembley, surely now. Kachunga with the goal.
goal. Bolton score early in the second half, just as they did in the front. His first goal since the semi-final. Has Bolton on the verge of being Wembley winners. Well, he had time to think about it, didn't he? Such was the position that he found himself in. And is there any way back now for Stephen Schumacher's side? It's not the first time they've been 3 0 down in this competition this season. But they were left wide open here. Scar couldn't get back. There was little that Burton in goal could do. As Kachunga picked his spot. He had plenty of time to settle himself, to make up his mind. Just a little glance at goal. And strikes it home. He hasn't scored in League One this season. But it's his third goal in this competition. And the Bolton Wanderers are on the verge of winning for the first time in 34 years. He have options for it. Morley. Wonder is Declan John. And by Morley. That's from the Kachunga to Charles. Still with Dion Charles, not quite. Bradley was calling for it in space as well. Charles only had one thought on his mind, and understandably so. Cosgrove, it was. And Morley will try again from the corner. It's a good one. It's four. It's all going Wanderers' way. Four 0 at Wembley, and surely now only a matter of how many. Perfectly positioned to steer home the header again. It comes from the corner, just as the opening goal did today. Gethin Jones this time is on the end of it to take the acclaim, to pile on the punishment for Plymouth. What a season that Argyle have been having as they push for promotion, but the wheels have come off at Wembley. Again, they did not deal with the corner. Kevin Jones got in front of the two Plymouth players who were attempting to prevent him from reaching that, didn't get near him. The one-time Argyle Loney making a wonderful Wembley memory for himself and his side. And surely settling the outcome of this final beyond any doubt now. Surely beyond their dreams. But it could be this many at this stage against a team they trailed by 16 points in League One. That's oh, really to hear the full time whistle. We've chased shadows in the Wembley sunshine for long spells of the afternoon. We've never got close enough to Bolton Wanderers. As the full time whistle goes at Wembley. Bolton Wanderers with us, making memories on the way back towards the big time. They pick up the Papa John's trophy in super style today. Scoring early at the start of the first half and at the start of the second half. And there was no way back for Plymouth Argyle. They have been, by some margin, deserving winners today at Wembley Stadium. They will get their hands on the trophy shortly. Full time at Wembley in the Papa John's Trophy final. Bolton Wanderers 4, Plymouth Argyle 0. One or two tears shed perhaps. The trophy presented to the captain, Ricardo Santos. Bolton Wanderers are Wembley winners again. More memories made today. They win this competition for the first time in 34 years. A long wait for another cup final success at Wembley. Oh, they have all played their part, and these celebrations will go on much longer into the evening, I'm sure. And then attention turns to those final eight fixtures to try and clinch that playoff place. And who knows, maybe they will be back here at Wembley before the end of the season. We shall see, but... Certainly today has been Bolton Wanderers' day. They have beaten Plymouth Argyle by four goals to nil. They are winners of the Papa John's Trophy.